Hello and welcome to Kidney Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking this lovely summer stew of courgette squash and tomato which is based on an Eastern European dish which has been slightly tweaked to be suitable for people with kidney disease. We're going to put our frying pan over a medium heat and add in some oil. And then once, once the oil has heated up we add in our onions and cook them for about 10 minutes until they're soft. Now your onions are nice and brown, add in the tomato puree, the paprika and the garlic. And stir around and cook for about a minute. Add in your butternut squash, give it a stir and then let that cook for about five minutes until it starts to brown. Now that the butternut squash is browned, we're going to add in the courgettes. Stir them in and cook for probably about another three minutes until they've just started to colour. Now that the vegetables are all browned, we're going to add in our green lentils and the stock. and give that a good stir. So you can see it's already simmering nicely, so we're just going to turn the heat down a little bit, pop a lid on the pan, and leave it to simmer for about 20 minutes, but you don't want it to go too mushy. Now we're going to remove the lid, add in our tomatoes, and the lemon juice and zest and give that all a really good stir. Just give that a minute or so just so the tomato and the lemon heats up. So we're now ready to serve up our summer stew. So we ladle some of the vegetables and lentils onto the plate. Okay. And then we top with a little bit of soured cream. and a sprinkle of the, the chopped dill. Today we've cooked this summer stew of courgettes, squash and tomato. Do you fancy mm. having a try, Laura? Yeah, it looks lovely. Thank you, Lizzie. It does, doesn't it? And it smells really nice. So it's the smell of the dill, isn't it, on the top? Mmm. Mmm. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice, isn't it? Mm. Could you replace any of the other the vegetables with something else? if? If somebody didn't like the courgette, for example, or I think you could. Yeah, I mean, this this recipe isn't going to be low in potassium mm -hmm. because it's the courgette, the squash, and the tomatoes are just um, oh, quite high. rich in potassium. But it'd still be a, a really good recipe for somebody who is perhaps in the early stages of CKD and wants a nice sort of plant-based meal, lots of fibre there, or someone that's had a transplant perhaps. Yeah. So um, Really nice, um, different flavours to have, aren't they? It's just uh, something a bit different, isn't it? And there's no added salt in there either. No, nothing at all. And key. I suppose if you don't like the, the hotness of it, it's not overly hot, but you could always leave the paprika out as well. Couldn't yeah, you? yeah, yes. definitely. No, I think this is fine as it is. It's um, it's really nice and it's sort of interesting how it's sort of all come out in these sort of caramelised colours, isn't it? It's lovely, it's really isn't nice. it? It really get, develops the flavours. Mm -hmm.